This episode is brought to you guys by Power Republic. This is an Airbnb that you can rent in the Catskills of upstate New York. It's got a hot tub, a sauna, a game room. It's going to be a good episode. Hope you enjoy. This place looks so cool already. I'm so excited to be here to show you guys around. Welcome to the Killer Cat Mountain House. We're back once again in the Catskills, New York. This place is super awesome. We've got three bathrooms, four bedrooms, and seven beds, up to 10 guests. Compared to our last stay, we're living luxury this time. Just keep this stuff in the car. Let's go check this place out. Here we go, folks. So while we are staying here at the Killer Cat Mountain House, we're going to be putting our photography skills to the test. We have a list of 15 different photo prompts that we're gonna use and try to create some fun photos out of it and hopefully create a fun experience for you guys to watch. If you guys are interested in booking this spot, the link is down in the description. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button too. We already got our vibe going on. Sun Chaser Coat Racks. As much as I wanna see the rest of the house, I think first thing first is a, a nice latte. I think, uh, I think we might be in luck here. Good stuff. But now to more important things. Let's go check out this house. So I'm not gonna lie, when I was making my coffee, I did kind of peek a little bit because this room might be one of my favorites. We got our little KC coasters. Love the, uh, the coffee table too. But right off the bat, the rug and this wall, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. It's so nice. This is a TV. It's like the thinnest little thing. It looks like a painting. Like I would have never noticed that. We've got a Crossley record player. There's a record on there right now and I don't know what it is, but Deja Vu by Atlantic. I've never heard of it. That is groovy, but I don't know the song. So that's enough for that right now. Lots of different genres. Definitely old artists. I know like Aretha and obviously Frank Sinatra, but some of these I'm not. Fleetwood Mac, I know who Fleetwood Mac is. Bruce Springsteen, I know that one. Ray Charles, I know that one. They're vintage. Just look at this dresser over here. It's black, but the details on it are like, they're gorgeous. <laughs> and an awesome sectional. This thing is huge. Get all comfy up and cozy. What is really cool that I just figured out. I thought it was a gas fireplace, but it's not. It's actually real wood, so. Clear on up. Throw a log in there and you got real fire, so we'll definitely be doing that later. Hmm. Good move, good move. I had no idea she was this good. Wait, did he just, wait, what? How did he? Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, so next we are going out to the deck. And you guessed it, yoga time. You probably didn't actually guess that. But the only problem is, is that I don't know how to do yoga. We're gonna have time to do this shot. Fantastic. You got your yoga outfit on? Kinda, sorta, but I'm ready. The mm. only thing I know how to do is the downward dog. There's this one. So we're out on the deck right now and it's actually a 900 square feet deck. It's huge. There's seating for like 20 people out here. We're gonna, we're gonna spend some time out here because it's, it's pretty nice. I don't usually do yoga. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but you know, I'm pretty flexible like that, so. <laughs> this is gonna be my sanctuary for the next 40 minutes. <laughs> Time to find a yoga mat. <laughs> you ever do that when you guys were a kid? Put the pool around and then you just jump in like this and then your head's just <laughs> killing like a duck. It's quite fun actually, you should try it. <laughs> Pop your head off. Yoga mat cleaner. <laughs> Mosquito spray, cans of propane. Yeah, the, the yoga mat's right there. Just, but, just, just grab the yoga mat. I found. Yep. yep, there you go. I found a yoga mat. Yeah, so. nope. nope Mission good. accomplished. 
And now after all that goofing off, it's actually time to get down to business and complete our photo shoots. I don't really know where to start because like I got a little bit of a sneak peek up there and I'm dying to go up there but I want to explore the rest of the floor so let's go beyond the kitchen and see what's in there. A little stool here. How cool is that stool? Like what? Where'd you get that thing from? Because I like it. It's actually kind of ironic because these antique green bowls and shakers and stuff we actually just saw at an antique shop and I was like hey we should get those because they're super cool but you guys beat us to it and it looks phenomenal. Loving that the back wall right here is a mirror and I can see my whole face. Everything's really black in here, but having the wall as like reflective, you're sitting here cooking and stuff, it opens it up. It's really, I've never seen like a backsplash be a mirror, so that's really cool. All of their forks, silverware, everything is gold. You just find gold accents everywhere. The aesthetic's on point. Oh no way, this whole, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Look, we got eggs, we got bacon, granola, fruit. Got some little cheese. We got a massive thing of bread. And in time, s'mores. We hope you enjoy your welcome basket. Take this back in here. All right, we'll come back to the food later. I wanna go explore the rest of the house. So down the hallway from the kitchen here, we got a first room to our right here and it is a bathroom. Got lights, toilet, sink, shower. This is nice. The, are, are these floor? The, I think wait. the floors are heated. On to the next room. No, wait, actually, there's another door. Oh, a panini maker. It's a pretty nice bedroom, very big. This autumn is really cool. It stays on theme really well. And the, the little lamps, like the little statue dudes. So yeah, that's the first floor. Like I said before, I really want to go upstairs, but the downstairs entrance is, is right here, so. Follow me. Whoa. Let's see what kind of games we've got on this day. Wow. <laughs> Pac-Man Plus. I didn't actually realize that the, the ghosts had names. I thought they were just ghosts. <laughs> Why is, I don't remember that game being that hard. <laughs> Crap, they got me. Crap. Nope, I got them actually. <laughs> so this is like a, this is our, this is our laundry station, which is very spacious. Okay, this bathroom's huge. Look at this, look at this. All of the floors are heated too. You could fit so many shampoos on there. <laughs> See what you got. Ooh. Ah. Aim high. You touch the sky. <laughs> I used to be good at dark. All right, well you play Pac-Man, so I'm moving on to a- uh, Oh, there's another one. I've never played digital pinball before, it's literally loading. We got a nice little living room set up here. TV, couch, all that good stuff. Got a nice checkered board here. There's this little room over here tucked in the corner. And this is pretty cool. When I was a little kid, this was my dream room. Four bunk beds here, little desk. That's really cool. They're all like full board games. Shoot the ladders, sorry, Monopoly, Scategories, Candyland, Scrabble, Clue. And they all just look like vintage books. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Here comes the Spider-Man. That's a cute idea though. It's definitely like the ultimate like boys hangout. All right, enough of that. We have a outside access door here. But now it's ping pong time. Boys and girls, it's been a long time since this girl has played ping pong. I feel like everywhere you go in the house, it's just literally the ultimate comfy hangout space. Yeah, these nice bird cages and the sauna over there. Let's play some ping pong. Hi. All right guys, it is sauna time. Super excited because this thing is so cool. I need one. So let's go turn this thing on and take some photos. We'll be right back. So the car featured in this video is our 66 Mustang. I love this thing, but the only part about this that's kind of difficult is old cars like this, they don't really have any charging ports like new cars do, so it's kind of difficult when you need to charge your phone or charge really anything. But thanks to the Power Republic, we can bring this with us and pretty much charge anything we want. So this is the T1200 portable power station by Power Public. Let me show you guys how it works. So over here we have AC power, USB power, and DC power. So this portable battery station comes in super handy because when we're out in the Catskills and we need to charge our phone, we're able to do that. We got about 87% charge on this thing. You can see it's pulling about three, four watts. And it says that we're able to stay like this for about nine hours. So that's a lot of charge. And because we're always filming, we always need a source of power to charge our camera batteries. So we can actually turn on the AC power at the same time. So what's awesome about this is we can basically have everything plugged in at the same time charging so we're ready to pull up to the shoot or pull up to our airbnb we're ready to go but also there is a 12 volt car charger so for any of your car accessories that you guys need to plug in or if anything's dead you got that too this portable power station comes in clutch when we're out on the road in the mustang so thank you to power public for sponsoring this video and making our lives a lot easier back to the episode set to max of one hour it's gonna heat up i like thomas
That's really pretty. Got a little nice vanity section here, but I really love how open this is because you can be sitting here reading, but you're still involved with the family and stuff. Something that I actually just saw in the there that I thought was kind of cool is that the hand towels, KC emblem on them, killer cat. Heated floors again. So this is the third and final bathroom. This one also has a tub in it. Everything literally matches. This lamp is really cool too. This is probably the room we're gonna stay in. And behind the bed is just this massive window that overlooks the mountain. Guys, I'm in love with this house and there's only one final room left, which is kind of sad, but let's go look at it. Straight across the hallway. This room is super cute. The octagon windows, they're everywhere. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go outside. It's hot tub time. It's super nice out here. We'll hang those right there. Now let's get in. The giant taco is out of here. Oh, I'm gonna smell not dumb. Is that okay with my ring? I love it. It's really relaxing, especially with the mountain behind, like 10 out of 10. But I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna go make some food. Let's go. Time to make some breakfast. What exactly are we making for breakfast? Egg sandwiches. Nice, sounds good. chicken stay fit the exercise the next task that we need to complete is kitchen photos I'm gonna do my thing and leave him behind the camera the coffee is really good, good. good. what happens when you play tug of war with big you get pulled pork that's, that's a good one that's not how that works. So this is the first time that we're uh, leaving the place since we've been here. I got a nice uh, affogato, a little espresso and ice cream. I got a vanilla lavender oat milk latte, so I'm super excited for that. All right guys, so back out on the deck. Look at that map. Like, I could be out here all day long. But we are on to the next part of the photo shoot, and that is barbecuing on the amazing deck, which means food, and I love food, but give me one moment. Dinner is served. Okay, not quite, it's all raw. So we've got to spread pork, steaks, potatoes, and asparagus. I'm gonna throw that on the grill. I thought I was gonna hit my head on the door. Should we bring the peanut butter? I made a hole in the marshmallow with this end. <laughs> and then I shoved a piece of chocolate in the middle of it, and then I'm shoving it back on the top, and then you put it over the fire, and then chocolate gets all like gooey, and it's really good. Woo! Look, it looks like a popcorn kernel. All right, so our next photo challenge, graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. You guessed it, it's more time. Well, we got graham crackers and marshmallows. Lost the chocolate. The end of the video, well, it's in sight. This, that's what this is. This is the end. Hate to break it to you guys, but this episode has come to an end. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode of our Cat Skills Airbnb series. If you aren't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back next week for the next episode. Mm -hmm.